Hey Armando, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com. I have XHB here, one of the tickers you sent me. This is the Spiders S&P Home Builders ETF, and we're taking a look at it back from its inception back in 2006. So let's take a look and see what we can find. Um, from 2006 down to about 2009, it had a pretty nice decline, super sharp from about 42 to 8. That was a trendy move, but that's a move that ended, and obviously the trend has reversed in a major way since then and has worked its way almost all the way back up to 42 where it started back in 2006. So uh, this move off the 2009 low is a trendy move uh, that hasn't ended yet. It does appear like it's in its final or fifth wave move off the 2016 low, which is pretty standard protocol for a lot of the ETFs we follow as well as the overall market. So uh, that's what we're looking at from a long-term basis. Once this leg off the 2016 low completes, then this whole advance likely will be over and we'll get a much larger pullback from there. But that's deep into the future or so at least something that we don't have to worry about as long as this trend is continuing. So as you'll see here, every trendy up leg played out in five waves. This first wave did, as did the second wave. So if we're looking, excuse me, as did this third wave. Uh, so when we're looking at this fifth wave, we know that it too should play out in five waves and it's just not a five wave move yet. So that tells us that it's not complete. There's still work to do before this fifth wave advance completes and a major high is recorded. So it's bullish stuff overall. So let's drill in a little bit and take a look at the advance off the 2016 low. So this is the advance off the 2016 low. Like I said, we want to see it become a five wave move before it's complete. And it looks like it's far from completing a five wave move, which just means higher prices should be coming. So uh, from this point of view, we see that the most important level on the chart is 36. I don't want to see XHB trade below this level at any time or put a major dent in the potential for this move to become a five wave advance, which is what we'd expect it to be. So you can remain bullish as long as XHB is trading above 36. So. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Uh, this is the advance that's been taking place since November of 2016. It's been a little bit rugged in recent months, uh, certainly not as fast as it was, uh, which is a bummer. We certainly would like to see a little bit more relative strength out of this guy, but the fact of the matter is it's still bullish, and that's very clear when we take a look at what's happened since June. Since then, it's traded net sideways. Pretty boring, obviously not a lot of money you're making during a move like this. Uh, but hey, it's still bullish because if the trend uh, is up and you get movement like this, it means the trend is still up because this is counter trend movement. And so all signs still point north. Once again, it comes down to the level of 36. As long as XHB is trading above this level, you have to be bullish. You have to expect the trend to continue until we get a larger five wave advance to form to the upside here. So I would be bullish. Uh, you could buy a breakout, a more notable breakout here, maybe 39.50 or even 40 where you'd want to buy it uh, if you're not in it already. But again, the most important level is 36. You would never want to own it if it's trading below 36. So uh, I hope that makes sense to you, Armando. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you again very soon. Thanks.